Good old soap. For years, it was good at two things, cleaning and giving kids a reason to avoid curse words. Ick. Let's talk about the former, not the latter. By now, you've heard about the 20 second rule. It's everywhere. Wash your hands with soap and warm water for 20 seconds. But why do we do that? Why? Here's why. Take a close look. I mean, a really close look at soap and you'll see this. A molecule. One side loves water, the other side loves fat and hates water. You put soap and water next to oil and the soap molecules go to work. The water loving side goes towards the water, the fat loving side goes towards the oil. It's why soap does such an amazing job of cleaning up your gross, grimy dishes. Now let's see it interact with the novel coronavirus named because of those weird things sticking out. Those things allow the virus to enter your lung cells. That's a bad thing. The outer layer of the virus has a weakness though, the water-hating, fat-loving side of the soap molecule. You see that? That outer layer? Scientists call it a membrane of oily lipid molecules. That outer layer is no match for soap. Each one pries the membrane apart, exposing the water-soluble inside of the virus to, yes, water. Eventually, soap forms a bubble around the bad stuff. Scientists call it a micelle. Add more water and it all washes away. So why 20 seconds? Look at your hands. No, seriously, look at your hands. Do you see all those lines? Viruses love to get in there. More soap time, more time to clean inside those cracks. Hand sanitizer, yeah, that works too, thanks in no small part to alcohol, which through a sciencey term known as denaturing, works to destroy the virus. The key is though, it has to be at least 60% alcohol. So yeah, that vodka in your cabinet probably won't work. Save that for something else, like say, celebrating the really cool thing about soap. So let's get going and start counting. One, two, three, 20 seconds should do the trick.